Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and today I'm back in the shop, and I'm going to show you how to make paper cartridges for the model 1859 Sharps rifle. Now, my replica is a Pedersoli, so these will be sized specifically for that, and we'll talk about that a little more in a bit. So, let's get over the workbench and start making some cartridges. Well, before we start making paper cartridges for the uh, 1859 Sharps, I'm going to tell you something that is going to be very important. Okay, the kind of cartridges I'm making use this Eras Gone Richmond Laboratories heel based Sharps bullet. Okay, now this is not the most common bullet for Sharps cartridges. That would be this Christmas tree bullet. And if you've got the Christmas tree bullet, the way you're going to make Sharps cartridges is quite a bit different. So what I'm going to show you is specifically for this bullet. And the reason I chose this bullet is because it's very much like the bullets used to make paper revolver cartridges. So you know, getting into this sharp stuff, this is my first deep dive into Civil War era breech loading guns. And um, the learning curve is quite steep. And I'm familiar with working with this kind of bullet for handgun cartridges. So I thought I would uh, cut some of the learning curve off by making my sharps cartridges with this bullet. Okay, now at some point, I probably will go to the Christmas tree bullet as well. Uh, just to learn both of them, but right now I'm using this one. So this is made from a mold uh, produced by the Eras Gone Bullet Mold Company. Mark Hubs is the uh, the owner of that, and really it's an excellent bullet to use. So if you can get a hold of that mold, this is how I make cartridges for it. And the first thing that we've got to do is we have to make a former. Right, because we've got to make these skins, cartridge cases. So here's how we make a former. So the way I make my formers, pretty simple. I'm going to start with this half inch wooden dowel. Now, here's here's a drill. You're going to make a, a paper cartridge where this bullet is going to go inside the lip of the cartridge. That means We've got to be able to get this base, turn this on, We've got to be able to get this base inside the paper cartridge skin, right? So we've got 5255, 0.5255 is the size we're going for. Now if I take my former, I've got 51, 5080. 51 right in there. So obviously the former is going to make too small a cartridge for the bullet to fit into it. That's no good. So there's two ways of going about this. One, you can get a bigger dowel and if you have access to a wood lathe you can turn it to the correct size uh, which is about 5250, 5245, something like that. Or you can take a half inch one like this and build it up. And what I use is this aluminum tape. It's quite thin. So I'm just going to cut off a piece, which I already have, and I'm going to wrap it around that dowel. All right, so I added just a narrow strip of tape over here, and we're getting 5220, so we're quite a bit closer. I'm going to put one more very small strip of tape on, and then I think we're done. Okay, these Sharps cartridges have to be flat-based, uh, and that means they have to be precisely the length of your gun's chamber. 
And what I found is that the different manufacturers all seem to make their sharps a little bit different. So uh, what you have to do is determine how deep your cartridge is going to seat to figure out how long it's going to be with the base on it. So I make my cartridges, cartridge skins, two inches wide. And I made this one about three inches long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some glue on it. And I'm going to glue this up as an extra long cartridge. So we'll just let that dry. And uh, after this dries, I'm going to mount a bullet in it, and then I'm going to determine the depth of my chamber. All right, I'm just going to put a little, little bit of glue around the heel of the bullet. And then I'm going to mount it into the cartridge paper. And I'm going to let that glue dry. Okay, I've got the rifle secured in the vise with the breech open. I've got the dowel rod, my former, still in the paper. <laughs> now I'm going to push this in, right, as, as far as it'll go. Not not going to jam it, but I'm going to push it in as far as it'll go. I'm going to take a sharpie and I'm going to mark the depth on there. Okay, so now that line is going to be the depth of my cartridge. So I've got to measure that and then I can make a template for making the, uh, the cartridge skins. All right, so once you've got your length figured out, you can start cutting out some cartridges, some skins. Now, I use this tracing paper, and I find that it burns up completely, and everything is very cool. Now, I'm going to tell you, don't go making up a hundred of these right now. Uh, what you want to do is make up a couple, and you want to try them for length in your gun. And uh, the trick is that breech block has to be able to close without tearing the back of the cartridge but you don't want the cartridge to go in much deeper than the face of the breech block either because it's hard for that uh, flame from the cap to reach it because it's got a very convoluted flash channel to go through. All right, so here's, here's my template. So like I said, I make them two inches wide and the length for mine is one and nine sixteenths. That's what works for me. May not work for you, so mix them up and then fine-tune them okay so we're gonna make some cartridges now I'm gonna cut out a bunch of skins uh, I'm also gonna make some bases and I use a different material for the bases alright for the bases I use sheets of tissue paper just like you'd use for gift wrapping and uh, I make them by taking the top off of a glue stick and then tracing it with a pencil on there and cutting them out. So that's probably about an inch. And when they're done, they look like this. And I'm going to show you how we put those on. They're going to require their own former. So we're going to talk about that in just a minute. All right, so once you cut up a bunch of skins, we'll just glue them into tubes. All right around our former, so I'm just going to take a glue stick. I'm working glue all over the workbench. Just that easy. 
we'll just glue a bunch of those up. Okay, when, when you've got a bunch of tubes made up, you want to start fitting some bottoms to them. So, I've got a bottom. And the way this works is a little bit different. If you're used to making, say, revolver paper cartridges, uh, this is different. Because in revolver cartridges, you glue the end cap over the outside of the paper cartridge. But with a sharps cartridge, it's got to go inside. Okay, so you, you need to end up with something that looks like this when you're done. And the way you have to do that is you need another former. And in this case, you're going to take that half inch dowel and, and I just sand it down lightly. This is going to be trial and error until you get it to work, but you've got to be able to get it inside one of those tubes with the base on it. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to just form the base around this former. Just going to do it with your fingers. Now take a tube. This is a little. This is not as easy as it looks because pieces of this thing is going to want to stick out everywhere. And sometimes they go in easy, and sometimes they do not. Okay, so you're going to run it. like between a half inch and a quarter inch to the end. All right, then you're going to take some glue. I use just plain old Elmer's glue. And you're going to run it around the inside of that tube. All right, then find a nice flat surface and push it down. Now take this out, and when I do, I'm going to have a perfectly formed tube and base that we can put powder in. Okay, so like I said, you should only do a few of those to start and make sure they fit your gun. Load up a couple of complete cartridges and, uh, and do that. I'm going to just make a bunch of these now. When the glue's dried, we can start loading them up. Now I'm using Swiss powder, one and a half FG. This this is as close to the actual 19th century powder that they would have been loaded with as you can get. I'm going to load 65 grains. That was a service load. Now Larry Flees tells me that uh, the most accurate load is more like 40 to 45 grains and the North-South Skirmish Association guys, that's pretty much what they use. But I'm going to try the service load to start, and I may load up some of the others later. Now you can see this, this case is much longer than you need for just 65 grains. In fact, it'll hold about 80 grains uh, if, if you were to do full, full loads. So I would say the Pedersoli uh, chamber is certainly deeper than the original Sharps chamber. But I don't want to load 80 grains, I want to load 65. So I'm going to put a filler in. I'm going to use cream of wheat. To take up that extra space. And I'm going to put a little glue around the heel of the bullet. And the stick glue works pretty good. It's got good tack to it. All right, now these bullets are a bit of a pain to get in. It's got to be obviously close tolerances, so it can be hard to get them started. And this one's going to make a liar out of me because it's going to go right in. to roll that one a little on the loose side. I would say. Okay, I'll let that dry. And we'll make up one more. 
there on camera. So once again, I got my cartridge. I'm going to load 65 grains of one and a half F Swiss. Drop in a little cream of wheat. I'll get some glue on a bullet. And you're going to seed it in the cartridge. Alright, see, this one's behaving a little more like they should. It's a good tight fit. And there we go. And there we go. All set. Okay, so the last step is to lube them. And I just melt some lube in a cup in the microwave. Uh, this is two-thirds beeswax, uh, two-thirds tallow, one-third beeswax. And I just uh, melt it up and just dip them in. <laughs> All right? And it gets them lubed up like this. So... That's the way you load these paper cartridges. And the only thing left to do now is go shoot them. And uh, we'll have another video doing just that. Well, that's the way that I make paper cartridges for the model 1859 Sharps rifle. Now, there are other methods. And uh, honestly, I'm not saying that mine's even the best. It's just the way I know how to do it. And they work just fine for me. It took a little bit of playing around. And I hope that uh, if you do it this way, it'll save you some of, the, some of the trouble that I went through trying to figure it out. So, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. That's how we play with the algorithm and uh, get YouTube to put this out in front of more eyeballs. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll take a minute and hit the subscribe button. Uh, there's a lot of black powder content on the channel. And there's plenty more to come. And if you like it, I wouldn't want you to miss out on any of it. You can also visit my website, MikeBellevue.com. And there's a lot more muzzleloading information out there. Pictures, blogs, videos, all sorts of things. Uh, so if you like this kind of content, you can get more there. and You can even buy one of these t-shirts while you're over there. <laughs> so, until next week, bye.